morning, Saxon Squad. How are you doing today? Nope. Good morning, Saxon Pack. How are you doing today? Nope. Good morning, Sax Balls. How are you doing today? Nope. Good morning, Ball Sax. How are you doing today? Nope. Good morning, Jeff Saxers. How are you doing today? I think I think we might go with this one because you know uh, Jeff Saxers. My old ice hockey nickname used to be Saxer, and you know my jersey number was number one. So. Yeah, Saxer, you know what? Maybe we might call you guys the Jeff Saxers. But with that being said, we're going to introduce the vlog as we normally would. So with all that being said, good morning, Saxon family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet a part of the family, do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any vlogs here on the channel. Guys, we've been growing very, very rapidly. And I want to thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. It means like the whole world to me uh, that you guys have been just supporting me here on the channel and everything that's been going on with my life welcome back for daily vlog number seven that is right ladies and gentlemen we've made it so far seven days in a row with a daily vlog I am kind of impressed myself it's been a while like I said since I've really done daily vlogs and being able to actually crank seven out in a row it feels really good you know it feels like that I've accomplished it again and I'm doing it correctly and you know we got off to a little bit of a rough start but we're doing it we are climbing the mountain back to the top actually we've never been on the top but we're slowly climbing the mountain anyway hi Rex how you doing today puppy ready Rex you ready lefty go get it Well, that totally backfired. He didn't even bring me back the ball. Rex, what are you doing, puppy? You're supposed to bring me back the ball. Nope. You, okay, I get it. You just want to chill in the shade because, you know, it's nice and sunny out and it's hot outside. Before we get any farther with today's video, I want you guys to know that I recently teamed up with SeatGeek as a brand ambassador. If you didn't know, I made the announcement over on my Twitter and Instagram. You can find both of those linked in the video description at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets. On their app, they have a score 0 from 10, letting you know if you're getting a good or bad deal for your tickets. Green is good. Red is bad. Plus, all of you get $20 off on your first purchase when you use the code Jeff Saxon. Click the link down below in the video description, and when you do that, don't forget to use code Jeff Saxon, by the way. Also, if you want to apply to become a SeatGeek ambassador, the links to that will be down below in the video description, too. Now that I've mentioned all of that here in the vlog, there is something I do want to mention, and that is me and my sister were actually left in charge to watch my niece and nephew, and I don't know if that was a good idea, or a bad idea. I see my niece Addison just waving to me nonstop. Come here, Addie. Come here. Run, 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 run. I actually went to her school yesterday to teach her about fire safety. How was that? Good. Did, did you learn a lot? Yeah. What did you learn? The ladder track is 100 feet tall. Uh, yep. Now, when you stop, drop, and roll, what do you do? Cover your face. Yep. You stop, drop, cover your face, and roll. And then when your house is on fire, you get out and. Good job, high five. My niece was a legit rock star yesterday in her class and also I did just post a photo of her and I over on my Instagram from the career day. So if you want to check that out, check out my Instagram. It's a really cool photo of both of us in front of the ladder truck. I actually want you guys to know that got over so many likes on the photo at the time of this recording. To be honest, I don't know how many likes it has, but she just wanted me to tell you guys it has over like a thousand likes. Daria, where are we taking Addison and Jacob? To get ice cream. Is this even a good idea? Great idea. It's a great idea? Addy, do you want ice cream? Okay. Well, this is how, you know, babysitting goes wrong because, you know, the uncle and aunt takes the kids out to get ice cream while the grandparents are away and the parents are away. And then they're going to get all sugared and hyped up and, oh man, this has just got a bad idea written all over it. Are you all buckled up back there? Yeah! You buckled up, Jacob? Okay, that's a plus. Uncle Jeff needs to get his seatbelt on. I gotta switch hands with the vlog camera. Over. Yeah, your doll's sleeping over too. I gotta put my seatbelt on because that's a uh, safety number priority number one. And we'll also make sure they're all in their seatbelt. But where's Aunt Daria? Ah, uh, there she is. She's got the keys. So if you're wondering, why do you have your mom's truck? Well, this vehicle has all the, you know, car seats and stuff put in. Makes our life a lot easier and. My stepdad and mom took the car. So we get to take the big truck. Bye-bye. Jacob! Hey. You ready to get out of the car, buddy? Hello. How do you do this? Uh, that thing. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put the camera down, buddy, so I can actually get you out of your seatbelt. Everybody has their ice cream. Jacob's got his. How's it, buddy? Good. Addy, what did you get? Yours is about to, to fall off. Yeah? What did you get, Daria? Vanilla with rainbow. Vanilla with rainbow. 
And I got a soft serve vanilla right here. And uh, it's been it's been a while since I've had soft serve ice cream. You asked for a cone. Some of the best ice cream though in this area. I think I got a little on my chin. Mrs. Walker's is like the hot spot if you ever come to Fork and River, New Jersey, or if you're in Ocean County, just come here, try the ice cream. It's very, very good. We are leaving Mrs. Walker's ice cream right now. Addie, how's your ice cream? I'm still eating it and we're walking to the Yeah. Really good. Yeah. And uh, my ice cream was really good, Jacob. How was yours? What? I love Jeff. Oh, Jacob, I love you too, buddy. High five. Do you guys want to go see the fire trucks real quick off vlog? Yeah! Yeah? Is that okay out there? Yeah. All right, Jacob, we're going to go see the fire trucks real quick, okay? Okay. Okay? You excited? Yeah! Wait, what color are fire trucks? Red! Good job. In the meantime, I'm going to go take the niece and nephew and the sister real quick to go take a look at the fire trucks. We're going to pick the vlog back up in a little bit. I'm not going to vlog inside. I just want to spend some time with the family off vlog. Jacob, did you like seeing the fire trucks? Yeah! Yeah, what color were they? Yeah, Addy, did you enjoy seeing the fire trucks for two days in a row? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can throw your gum in the dumpster. But with that being said, my sister is actually going to drop me off at the house. Then she has to go to Walmart with these two because the one dog happened to chew Addy's shoe. My new shoes. Her new shoes. I feel like today's vlog's just been super, super family friendly. Like, really family friendly than normal. But hey, the kids enjoyed the ice cream and then they also enjoyed the fire trucks. Which is all that matters is that they're having fun, right Addy? Yeah! Yeah? And, and um, I got this medal. You got a gold medal? How'd you get a gold medal and I didn't? Where'd you get that at? Because we, um, we had a contest. Yo, oh, wait a minute. You won a contest, so you're an Olympic gold medalist now, and your uncle still hasn't even won a championship I'm in the past two. year. You got two gold medals. That's a lot more gold medals than your uncle ever won. Actually, I, I just won ice hockey championships, so that's that's a whole lot different. But hey, lucky you, right? Gold I medalist. Got, I got one from soccer. You got one for soccer. She's a lot more athletic than I ever was. Have fun at Walmart. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put this in the garage freezer, Daria. That one, or should I put it in the house freezer? Okay, I'm gonna go with the garage freezer. This was Jacob's ice cream that he obviously did not finish because, you know, young kids tend not to finish what they're eating. It's always good to at least save it for later or tomorrow. And I cannot open this fridge. Oh, is there a key up here? Where does this key even? Haha. -ha. That I whoa what? That I did not even know. I did not even know that <laughs> this fridge takes a key to open it. There we go. Okay, where did it Whoops, that would have been bad. Look who decided to show up to my house and uh that's who I'm gonna go hang out with for a bit. What up, buddy? Hey yo! What are you doing here? Is this where I insert your TikTok up on the screen? No. Okay, bye buddy. See you later. So, uh, from the wow. last clip to this clip, what happened was me and George just drove around, we went to Home Depot and did some stupid things, and that's been about it. We really didn't do much entertaining things, right George? No. No. We had to do some stuff for me. Yeah, we had to do some stuff. I don't know if you saw it in the back, but there's a fish tank. He got a free fish tank, pretty big. But the one thing I was going to say is that uh, George has been growing tremendously over on TikTok. I'm going to post TikTok up on the screen again. I'm proud of you, dude. 4,000 followers, even on just any social media, in my opinion, is a big deal. Uh, it means you're actually starting to gain yourself a social media following. So whatever you do, man, just keep it up, all right? Like, that, okay, dokie. That, that dude, no, honestly, like that's okay, a big deal. Dokie. That dude, that is a big deal. So well, guys, follow, I'm follow looking, George. I'm looking to do when we do it live. I'm looking, first live is going to be with you, just so you know. Oh yeah, apparently I'm going to be doing a TikTok live, so you may want to follow me on TikTok as well. Even though I hardly use the app, every single video that I've done on TikTok has done like really, really well. We're like talking like 10,000 plus views. I only have like 1,000 followers on there. My most viral, I think, has like 130,000 on there, which to me just still doesn't make sense. So you don't have the time to do that. Like, you don't have the time to do TikTok because you do this. Yeah. Where I have more time to do TikTok, I don't have as much time to do this where I can do the TikTok because it's quick, easy. And quick and easy videos. And the one thing like I know about TikTok in general is it's quick videos versus long vlogs. And, and if you want to see funny stuff and you don't have to worry about, you want, you want to do funny stuff on there. And you don't want to have to get worried about getting demonetized. Yeah, I know, George. Demonetized and worried about yelling because you did this or you said that. I mean, there's some videos on there that 
they don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, but. this vlog's probably gonna be the third vlog in a row to get demonetized for no reason, and then get confirmed uh, not demonetized by manual review. It just YouTube's been messing up lately, and it just makes no sense. Yeah, but I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, lucky you. Uh, I'm gonna put the vlog camera for now down for now. I got some errands I need to run. Gotta buy the lotto tickets. It's a big one tonight. I and don't know then why yeah, you waste your time, You're bro. Cause when I win the Mega Millions or the gonna... Powerball, when I win the Powerball, the Mega You're Millions, not gonna win. Oh, you keep you, people keep telling me I was never gonna do this, never gonna do that. And guess what? I've done it. I proved all the haters wrong in my life, George. That and means tonight, you better give me some money. If you is that win, what our is that what our friendships come to? Is down the money, George? Yes. Oh, if yeah. You okay. Win, I want some money. All right. Listen, it's like a, win, it's like I a hundred and something million dollars. So like, all I want is just, like just a million grand. Uh, I was just gonna give you like a million, like a small loan of a oh, million. Oh, well, a million is fine, but if I mean, I just want fifty grand, just so I could do some stuff with it, just so I could fix my house up with. Oh, uh, just so you could fix your house with fifty Gs. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I live on my own. So. Well, I mean, like you know, maybe I'll just give my best friend, surprise my best friend with a million dollars video, if I was to win tonight. But I'm gonna put the camera down for now. Maybe tomorrow's vlog, we will find out if I won or not. <laughs> I can't remember what even focused, but I got you good. <laughs> that was fun scaring my mom. Too bad my camera decided to go out of focus the whole entire time. Besides that, there is something I want to talk about to close off this whole entire vlog today. And I know I'm going to offend a lot of people when I say this. Uh, mainly the haters, but screw the haters because this is what I'm about to say. For those that think mine and Nicole's relationship is fake and it's because we don't show like how we love each other online and all this stuff, how do I properly say this? Um, yeah, just please shut the f*** up. Just because we're not one of those bubbly couples that you see plastered all throughout YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, etc. That's showing ha 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 how happy we are all the time. Like listen, we show our love and affection off vlog. Maybe I say I love you here and she may not say it back. I'm not expecting to always hear I love you back. Nicole and I like to show our love and affection for each other off the vlog. We don't have to show it on the vlog like every single YouTube couple out there. I mean, for a perfect example, Casey and I sat and Candace, they never kiss on their vlog. They never do X, Y, and Z. You can tell they love each other, but at times Candace is mad at Casey and vice versa. They don't have to show their love for every single person out there. For those commenting what they've been commenting down below in the comment section, I bet even half of you have never had a serious relationship. So as I said it before, just shut up. I don't know why, but it's just been grinding my gears the past couple videos when I see it. And then everybody's like, why is Nicole not in this video or this video? It's because she works two jobs. It's currently 9.50 p.m. and in about 20 minutes, I have to leave here when I'm done filming this vlog to go pick her up from her job. And why is that? It's because I'm a good boyfriend and I don't want to put her on the camera right as she gets done working. And then there's just this one stupid comment that's always in the comment section saying, oh bro, your girlfriend lives with you but you can't even sleep in the same room as her. Just shut up. My parents have rules, and I'm going to respect and follow them. And it's for every single sibling of mine. My brother, he has a girlfriend. She's not allowed to sleep over in the same room. The same for both of my sisters. Whenever they've had boyfriends, they cannot sleep in the same room. And even for me with previous girlfriends, they could not sleep in the same room. They would have to sleep in the guest bedroom. And what I'm trying to say right here is when you live in a house with parents that have rules, you have to live and abide by their rules. As long as you want to keep a roof over your head so you don't have to go out and pay rent or buy a house. It's their house, they pay the mortgage, I don't, so whatever they say goes. It's been like that for every single sibling of mine, and it's always going to be like that. I just want to say all that because it's just been annoying me every single day seeing that in the comment section. But Saxon family, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, make sure to slap that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and never miss out on a brand new video here on the channel. This is a daily vlogging channel. As you know, we post every single day here at 3 p.m. I'm surprised. Daily vlog number seven completed, ready to go for tomorrow or today when you're watching this. I don't even know when you're watching this video what I'm doing today. I might be in New York. I might be going to another thing. I don't know just yet. That's why it's important to make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you never miss out on a video here on the channel. But until next time, guys, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Remember to stay positive. I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. And well, ba 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 ba. Peace. <laughs>